Weekly concept. Natural connections. Essential question. How are all living things connected? Part of the whole. The relationship between the oxpecker and the zebra is one example of the relationships that exist in the animal world. These birds eat ticks and lice off zebras. They also screech loudly if a predator is approaching. What are some other examples of relationships between animals? How are animals and plants connected? Talk about it. Write words that describe how living things are connected. Then talk to a partner about why these connections are so important. Vocabulary. Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Crumbled. The old brick wall had crumbled over the years. Crumbled. If something crumbled, then it broke into small pieces. Crumbled. If something crumbled, then it broke into small pieces. Droughts. Because of the lack of rain, farmers' crops died during the droughts. Ecosystem. A reef ecosystem can be disrupted if you remove one species that lives in it. Extinct. The American buffalo was hunted so much that it almost became extinct. Flourished. The sunflowers grew tall and flourished in the rich soil. Flourished. Something that flourished thrived or grew strongly. Flourished. Something that flourished thrived or grew strongly. Fragile. Tom held the nest carefully because he was afraid the fragile eggs might break.
Imbalance. Too much algae created an imbalance in the pond's ecosystem. Ripples. The water ripples around the swimming dog. Ripples. Something that ripples forms small waves. Ripples. Something that ripples forms small waves. Ripples. Something that ripples forms small waves. Your turn. Pick three words. Write three questions for your partner to answer. Genre: Narrative Nonfiction. Rescuing Our Reefs. Sitting on the side of the boat, the photographer fixes her scuba tank and mask. She waves to a man in a fishing boat. Then she dives backwards into the clear waters of the Florida Keys. She swims, breathing through her regulator. A large, colorful coral reef is laid out before her eyes. Sea anemones, red hind fish, gaudy parrotfish, yellow angelfish, and other animals ignore her as they go about their business. Life in this reef has flourished and grown. Connections. The photographer knows the plants and animals in a reef ecosystem need each other to survive. Reefs are made up of billions of tiny animals called coral polyps. Plant-like algae live inside the coral. The algae use a process called photosynthesis to turn energy from the sun into food for themselves and the coral. In return, the coral gives the algae a home and the carbon dioxide needed for photosynthesis. Algae are a part of the food chain called producers. Producers make their own energy. The photographer sees a blue and yellow parrotfish nibbling at the coral. She takes a picture. The parrotfish breaks apart the coral to get to the algae-filled polyps inside. In a food chain, the parrotfish is a consumer. Consumers cannot produce their own energy. As the parrotfish eats the algae, energy is passed through the food chain. In the distance, the photographer notices the long silver body of a barracuda lurking. The sea grass ripples in the current, swaying back and forth. It almost hides the hungry predator. She snaps a photo and swims on. Parrotfish. Coral bleaching. The photographer shoots more photos as she swims. The reef must have looked like this hundreds of years ago, but then she stops and stares at a big area of bleached white coral. Once colorful, the whitish coral now looks like the broken pieces of a crumbled castle. Coral depends on a natural balance to stay healthy. Climate change and pollution can cause an imbalance. Some areas have dried up from droughts, while others have had more rain. Too much sun and warmer ocean temperatures can cause coral bleaching. If pollution gets into the water or the water gets too warm, the relationship between the coral and algae breaks down.
The algae stop making food. The coral ejects the algae. The algae are what give the coral its color. The coral loses its color. It starves because it needs the algae to make food for it. A food chain shows the transfer of energy from one species to another. Energy source, producer, consumer. Many plants and animals depend on the coral for food and shelter. As more and more coral reefs die, many animals and plants that live in these reefs may become extinct. The beautiful reef the photographer had seen earlier would resemble the white, crumbling reef before her. Balancing Act. She turned and swam back to the boat. Later today, she would send her photographs to the Nature Conservancy. It is an organization that works to rescue our fragile reefs. Scientists there are trying to rebuild the reefs by attaching small pieces of staghorn coral to concrete blocks. Staghorn coral is used to grow new coral. Once the coral grows, the blocks are planted in the reefs. The photographer hopes her pictures will help spread the word. They show the relationship between pollution, climate change, and coral bleaching. She breaks through the water's surface and climbs into the boat. I got some good shots of the healthy reef and the sick reef, she shouts to her partner. Once aboard, she immediately begins putting her photos on her laptop. Make connections. Talk about how the plants and animals that live in the coral reef are connected. What could you do to help save the coral reefs? Summarize. When you summarize, you retell the most important details in a paragraph or section of text. Summarize sections of Rescuing Our Reefs to help you understand the information. Find text evidence. As you read, identify the most important details. Summarize the first paragraph of the Connections section on page 123 of Rescuing Our Reefs. Connections. The photographer knows the plants and animals in a reef ecosystem need each other to survive. Reefs are made up of billions of tiny animals called coral polyps. Plant-like algae live inside the coral. The algae use a process called photosynthesis to turn energy from the sun into food for themselves and the coral. In return, the coral gives the algae a home and the carbon dioxide needed for photosynthesis. Algae are a part of the food chain called producers. Producers make their own energy. In a coral reef ecosystem, the algae and coral polyps help each other. The algae produces food through photosynthesis and the coral provide carbon dioxide and a home for the algae. Main Idea and Details The main idea is the most important idea that an author presents in a paragraph or section of text. Key details give important information to support the main idea. Find Text Evidence when I reread the section Connections on page 123 in Rescuing Our Reefs, I can reread to find the key details. Then I can think about what those details have in common. Now I can figure out the main idea of the section. Graphic Organizer Main Idea Animals and plants in the coral reef depend on each other. Detail Algae produce food through the process of photosynthesis. Detail. The coral provides a home and carbon dioxide for the algae. Detail. Parrotfish eat the algae inside the coral. Caption. All the key details tell about the main idea. Your turn. Reread Coral Bleaching on pages 124 through 125. 
Find the key details and list them in your graphic organizer. Use the details to find the main idea. Genre Informational Text Narrative Nonfiction Rescuing Our Reefs is narrative nonfiction. Narrative nonfiction tells a story, presents facts about a topic, includes text features. Find text evidence. Rescuing Our Reefs is narrative nonfiction. It tells a story while providing facts about reefs. It also includes text features. Text features. Headings. Headings tell what a section of text is mostly about. Flowchart. A flowchart shows information from the text in a visual way. Your turn. Find and list two examples of text features in Rescuing Our Reefs. Tell your partner what information you learned from each of the features. Write about the text. I answered the question, how does the author present information about the food chain? Use text evidence. In Rescuing Our Reefs, the author presents information about the food chain through the eyes of an underwater photographer. As the photographer approaches a coral reef, the author shares information about reefs. Algae, for instance, are similar to plants and live inside coral. They are called producers because they use the sun to make their own food. When the photographer sees a parrotfish, the author explains that fish are consumers and cannot produce their own energy. Presenting information this way makes it much more interesting for readers. Topic Sentence I clearly stated how the author presents information. Supporting Details I included text evidence to support my response. Grammar. This is an example of an irregular plural noun. Strong conclusion. My last sentence sums up my response. Your turn. What is the author's purpose for writing, rescuing our reefs? Use text evidence.